Hey, hello, Willow Village volunteers. This is Mark Levitt, your tech support geek. And uh, this video, um, I'm going to show you how to use our video conferencing capability that we have with G Suite um, to engage with other volunteers and with our members. This is going to be an especially important skill during this public health emergency. Um, there's two ways to set up meetings. You can just launch a meeting immediately uh, in response to, say, a phone call or an, an email, um, or you can schedule one in advance. Um, I'm going to show you the immediate method first because it's simpler, but then I will show you how to set one up, with an one up in advance, which involves setting a time and date and sending invitations. Okay, ready to go? We'll do the immediate method first. So you are looking at my screen, and you always want to start in your Willow Village Gmail. Um, and the way I can be sure that I'm in my Willow Village Gmail is obviously these are emails from the other volunteers. Uh, but just be sure you're not in your personal Gmail account or something else um, so that we can follow along. Uh, the other way to be sure I'm in Willow Village is this icon up here. That shows my Willow Village account, not my personal account. And if you're in your personal account, this is how you change between the different accounts is by clicking here. Okay, we're all on the same page now. We're starting in our Willow Builds Gmail and we want to set up an immediate meeting. Let's say we've just talked to someone on the phone or we have emailed or texted and we need to video chat right now. Um, so we go to the applications menu. That's the little box up here. And when you click it, um, you should have access to Meet. That's what we're going to want. If you don't see Meet, you may need to scroll down and find it down here and you can even drag it back up so it shows up in your menu. Um, Hangouts works as well, but it's obsolete and Google is sunsetting it. So if possible, use the newest thing, which is Meet. Okay, so you're going to click on this and that's going to launch a video meeting. Okay, pretty straightforward. It says join or start a meeting. It's got a plus sign, which is how we do new things. So I'm going to click there and now I can make up a nickname for the meeting. So I'm going to call this test meeting. That's my nickname for the meeting. I click continue. And now the meeting hasn't quite, the meeting started, but I'm not in it yet, which is a little strange. It's an empty room, right? So an empty room is reserved. I got to get in that room. So that's how I join. If I were to click present instead, my camera would never show. It would present my screen, but I'm going to join first as a human being on camera um, and click this. And now that meeting is in underway, but no one else is here. And this is how I can add other people. So let me show you a couple ways to do this. Um, if you say copy joining info, it will put the joining info in your clipboard. And then you could, you know, start an email and paste it. But it's easier to just use the add people choice because that'll just let us give an email. It'll send the joining info. And notice there's both uh, a browser address that people can go to to join the meeting. That's this HTTPS. And there's a dial-in number. So if someone is only on a phone, they can dial this number um, and, and then enter the PIN code and they would be in your meeting just in voice. So that's good for volunteers that don't have um, internet access or, or computers. Um, let's show how you do it with add people. So we click here on add people. And you start typing the name of the person and it should show up. Now I'm going to use Noreen as my test subject because she's the one that asked me to make this video. So too bad, Noreen, you're going to get all these bogus emails. Um, so here's Noreen, but I haven't picked her yet. I've got to pick her. Now, she has been added to the list of people I'm going to invite. I could add other people. I'm not going to because then they're going to get all these nuisance announcements about this, uh, this bogus meeting. But you can see that's how I create a list. I just keep adding people. I could add JB, start typing, find her name, click it. It would add her to the list up top and on and on. Important point, try to use their Willow Village addresses, not their personal addresses. Um, they will have an easier time joining if they're coming from a Willow Village email rather than from an outside one. They can get in. You can invite people that are not in Willow Village but it's a little harder when they go to join, they get asked a couple questions. For example, I could use my personal um, email address and it will take it. You just type it in and then say add recipient, but it doesn't work nearly as well. 
So try to use the Willow Village addresses if you can. And then you click Send Invite, and I'm going to go ahead and send it to, Nor to Noreen because I've warned her she's going to be getting some bogus notices. And it's done. So as soon as she sees that email that says Mark is inviting you to a meeting, it has a link she can click and she'll be in the meeting. Um, you will know that because up here, you see how this shows one person, I clicked on it. If other people join, they will start showing up in this list um, and you'll know that they've joined. When they join from an outside non-Willow Village address, it may say here that you need to accept them joining the meeting. They won't be automatically entered. So that's why I'm encouraging you to use the Willow Village address. Okay. Um, and once people are in the meeting, um, if anyone needs to um, mute their microphone or something like that, let me show you how to do that. Now, let me show you a little a trick here. This is a, an, an issue. When you look at this, you're just seeing my camera view, right? Um, and you can't see any controls <clears throat> to mute the microphone or block the camera. And um, sometimes you do want to do that. So you have to get, just move your cursor somewhere into the video and click once. And now notice down here, there's a white bar. This has the microphone mute, blah, blah, blah. Now you can't hear me. Um, and this has the camera mute. All you get is a, a photo. You can't see my live camera. Those are handy. Uh, don't click this unless you want to hang up. Um, and then the other, feature is how to actually present like a slideshow or something that you have on your screen. And I'm going to show you that next. But again, you have to master this skill of how to get that menu to come up. It, you have to click somewhere in the video and get it to choices. Just, oh, Noreen, you don't, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, Noreen. <laughs> I'm recording an, an educational video. Okay. But, but it's good that you're here. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to go over here. Thank you for volunteering to be my unpaid extra. You can see that Noreen's in the meeting as well. Um, and also notice that white bar isn't at the bottom of the screen. If I want, I've got to click here and usually move my mouse. There's the white bar where I can mute the microphone or the camera. Now, another nice feature is the chat. Let me just click over here. And the chat lets you type messages. So I can say, As soon as you type it at the bottom, it goes and pops up in the list and she can send, send me a chat message back. Go ahead and type anything since, since you're in the video, this is great. And then as soon as she hits enter, that's gonna pop up. This is really good feature if someone's having trouble hearing, if you have like a hearing impaired person or some complicated piece of information like a web address or a phone number is better passed by chatting it typing it and chatting it rather than trying to say it and write it down. Okay. So that's the chat feature. So the last feature I want to show you is how to project your screen. So we've got to get back into the main screen, get the, the bar at the bottom to pop up. Sometimes that means moving your cursor and you find this called present. Now you click that and then you get a choice of presenting your entire screen or a window. Generally, you want to present a window, then you can control what you're showing everybody rather than your messy desktop. <laughs> At least mine's always messy. Once you say a window, it will show you what programs and windows you have running. Um, and in my case, the only thing I have running is the meeting, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and you've got to click that so that notice it's highlighted in blue, then share. And now I am presenting my screen to Noreen. Uh, so she's seeing the meeting. But what I really want to show her is this instead. So now Noreen is seeing my email, right, Noreen? Yes. Okay, cool. I, I'm, I'm not sure if it's recording what she's saying. It's probably not, but that's okay. She said yes. Anyhow, that's how you project your screen and you can browse. You can, you, you know, if I wanted to show a, you know, what's happening uh, in the news or something like that, I just use my browser, whatever tab is in front. Um, that's going to be projected. When you want to stop sharing, go back to your meeting tab and look down here way. Oh, okay. This isn't going to show on your screen, but I will move it up. This was not within my projection, but there's a little bar at the bottom that says meet is sharing a window and you say stop sharing. And now we're back to our, our camera conversation. 
Okay, and then when you want to end the meeting, just click in. I'm going to say goodbye, Noreen. Okay, bye. Uh, and you click this hang up, and the call is ended. And then you can rate you can rate it when you're done. You just did your own spontaneous meeting. All right, um, you got through the immediate meeting, and now I'm going to show you how to set up a meeting in advance. Let's look at how to set up a meeting in advance. Um, this involves putting the meeting on the calendar and sending invitations. Again, I want you to begin from your Willow Village Gmail account. And as I said before, make sure you're in that, um, in that account, not in your personal email account. And I want you to now go to your calendar. And I use the little application menu and I pick calendar. And that opens a calendar. And you need to make sure this is the Willow Village calendar and didn't switch into your personal calendar. And sure enough, this is my... Willow Village calendar. Um, I'm going to switch to weekly rather than monthly. It's less confusing. Okay, so let's say I wanted to set up a meeting for 1 p.m. this afternoon. There's 1 p.m. Um, I need to click right about at that time and date. And now I have an event dialog. Um, but I want to open this up a little bit more. So I'm going to click more options because that makes it easier for you to see what I'm doing. Okay, more options. Now, I've basically got my whole screen showing the options. So this is the meeting title. So this is going to be, I'll call it a training meeting on video conferencing. And then I want to make sure I've got the right time and date. Um, and then since it's not an in-person meeting, I don't add a location here. Um, if you want to, you could say, you know, by video conference, just so people aren't confused. But that's optional. Uh, that, that's where you would put it if it was a physical meeting. You would put the address in this area. But since you're going to do a conference, you want this one with the camera. Now watch. I click the little down arrow. See that? And I'm going to use Hangouts Meet, which is our Meet software. And it gives me some more options. Okay? It's added a, um, a web browser address for joining the meeting. And don't click that yet. This is just creating the invitation. I want to have a phone number too, so I'm going to click this down arrow also. So now I've got not only um, a web browser address, but a phone number that people can dial in to join when they only have a phone. Um, and that's pretty much all I need to do to set it up. Just set the time. It will give you all these details. And then I need to add my guests. Now, before I add the guests, I'm going to show you one other thing. Down at the bottom, there's more room. There's sort of a description area. This is a good place to put any notes on the meeting, like if you want to call out manually to people. So, you know, call John 505-999. Put, you could put a list of people that need to be called that aren't able to get to the meeting with a computer or uh, can't dial into a toll number and stuff like that. Just a handy place to save those notes, okay? Um, now, the most important thing is now to be sure you add the people who need to be invited. And you click in here where it says Add Guests and start typing the name. So I want Noreen. I start searching. It pops her up. Click. It's added her to the list. Notice. I'm going to add Chris. It, I've got both her personal and her Willow email. You definitely want to use the Willow address. Try to always remember to do that. And let's put JB in there. Again, pick the right address. You can, just as in the case of the immediate meeting, add a um, non-Willow Village address. It just, it'll send them an email. Notice the little asterisk. It's basically saying, um, this guy, he can join, but you're going to have to accept him into your meeting when he gets, and you can't, can't be sure it's going to go on their calendar. So it's just letting you know that. Okay? Um, make sure everything's correct. And then you save. And the save isn't at the bottom. Sorry, it's up at the top in this case. I'm not going to click it because then it would send invitations to Christine and JB and Noreen and it would be a nuisance. So I'm going to just dump this. But if you did do it, it would, send, it would put it on your calendar and it would send them invitations that they can say yes or no. And when they say yes, it puts it on their calendar. Now I'm going to dump this just because um, I don't want to send it to them. But I'll show you what, the, what a meeting appointment looks like, and then we're done. Um, 
here's a meeting we held yesterday for tech training. And here's what it looks like. Um, actually, it was initially an in-person meeting. So there was a location and then we transferred it to a video conference. So this would have been blank or it would have said video only. And then it has a link that you can click to join it. And it has the phone numbers that you call to join it. And it lists who was invited to the meeting. And the little green checks mean they accepted. So you can even tell who accepted the meeting. Um, and of course, and then a person who's going can also say, I'm not going and it'll uncheck their name um, saying I can't attend. I'm going to go ahead and try that. And you notice it's removed it from my calendar or crossed it off. So you can actually say yes or no. I think that wraps it up. The rest of the meeting, when that meeting actually happens, all of you, including the organizer, have to click on the link, join the meeting, get into the room and off you go. And it's conducted just like I showed you how to do the immediate meeting. So I think okay, that wraps up this training video. Don't hesitate um, to ask questions. If I went too fast or too slow, just email me and I'll try to help you through that. And I hope that you have a lot of successful video conferences and stay healthy.